Marcus. More news tonight. Police on both sides of the state line are going to try a new tool to catch crooks in the act. Surveillance cameras. It could happen as early as next spring. KNBC 9's Michael Mahoney is live to explain how it will work. Michael? Well, Kelly, the tw 21st century fact of life here is the fact that security cameras are all around us. In fact, a lot of retail businesses and many private businesses use security cameras all the time, and now the police want to use them on the streets of Kansas City. Including the street where Nathaniel Washington Jr. and his twin sister Nikita play. 24th Street between Hardesty and Jackson, which can be a mean place. So it was a perfect fit. They had a high crime situation, a good geography, and then the neighborhood was really behind having some cameras. Well, I think that would be wonderful because I was just kind of a little bit concerned about coming and ministering here. The cameras will look similar to the ones used now by the Chicago police. This is what the picture looks like. The Kansas City police say they won't be watching the cameras 24-7, but they'll be on and recording all the time. But nobody expects the cameras will wipe out crime on 24th. It's a good idea. Whether it do any good or not, I don't know, but I think it's a good idea. And if with these cameras we can solve three, four very serious violent crimes, then to some degree it'll be worth it. And nobody along 24th Street we talked to was worried about those police cameras or any other cameras invading their privacy. They worry more about a bad guy invading their home. I think it's a great idea. It'll, it'll watch people, protect people more so you from do. crime, I guess. Now, in KCK, those cameras are going to be in several different locations. They're going to be concentrated in Kansas City, Missouri, along 24th Street. Also, it is going to be the Kansas City Crime Commission soliciting donations, about a quarter of a million dollars over the next few months, to pay for these security cameras on the streets police surveillance in both Kansas City, Kansas, and Kansas City, Missouri. We're live with the story. Back to you. Thank you very much, Mike. If the startup money can be raised, police in Kansas City, Missouri, and KCK plan to test the use of surveillance cameras in high crime areas. KCTV 5's Craig Negrelli is live with more on today's big story. Craig? Well, Carolyn, we're at the corner of 24th and Van Brunt in Kansas City, Missouri, an area of high crime, murders, robberies, assaults have all taken place in this area. But Kansas City police are hoping they have a new tool in the fight against crime with the help of utility poles. We're talking about cameras on the corners. Today, the police department displayed a camera that would be one of eight that would be installed in the 24th Street area from Jackson to Hardesty in Kansas City, Missouri. The cameras would be attached to utility poles and buildings. East Patrol would then be able to monitor the activities at eight different locations all at once. And if a crime is committed, police will be able to review the tape. We can't have a policeman on every block. We don't have enough policemen and we don't have enough money to fund that. But if you can put more eyes out there and have uh, recording capability 24 hours a day, seven days a week, um, you actually are sort of putting little pieces of policemen out there on those poles. Now, police in Kansas City, Kansas, have also signed on to this plan. The big question is, how are they going to fund this? We're hearing the tab could be close to a quarter million dollars and so far the city of kansas city has not allotted any funds that will be discussed in the weeks and months to come but the idea certainly is in play and kansas city police are hoping it becomes a reality live in kansas city craig negrelli kctv5 news well police in kansas city and kck want to install surveillance cameras in high crime neighborhoods officers hope to eventually hang cameras like this one on utility poles and buildings on 24th street they say the neighborhood is a perfect candidate for the test program the cameras can zoom up on businesses and pan down side streets reducing the ability to conceal a crime police say the idea has been a success in other cities such as chicago They'll be able to tell the police right there and then that something's going on and get police response directed there. While the cameras do raise some privacy concerns, however, police say the technology allows them to black out windows and doors.